We came here about three years ago. We found the buildings were too small to enable us to become a properly enclosed carmel, which every contemplative house has to be. So we d uh, decided that as the cost of buildings are so extravagant for us, too extravagant for us, that we must do it ourselves. So we undertook to do the choir, the sacristy, and the chapel. They're complete amateurs in building. But what did you do? What do you do? We a local man, uh, who, um, uh, uh, he's, he's a master craftsman at building and um, stone masonry and, and uh, bricklaying and all that. And so he came along and showed us how to do it exactly. He built a little model wall for us to learn from. Mm. And that's how we picked it up. And then we've also got some books all about building. And we've been reading those up, especially our foreman sister has been uh, swatting those books up and so we've learned quite a lot from that and then of course you learn a tremendous lot by making mistakes and having to do it over again. Will you tell us something about the method of working? Well, there are 18 of us and we all take it in turns to do some work. Usually two sisters work in shifts all during the day. What about the roof? Well, the roof is really the greatest fun of all. Uh, that heavy fall of snow about a foot deep. Not a drop of water came through the cloud. 